Okay, hi guys. So in this video, I'm going to show you the formative exercise 2.1 page 37 from your KSSM textbook. Okay, from 5 KSSM textbook. So of course, uh, if you have the textbook with you, keep it beside with you. If you haven't watched my explanation on how to do the uh, differentiation step by step and how to do find the derivative, okay. Uh, this one teacher will link up here okay you can click watch that understand because teacher explained in a very simple way for everyone to understand and then we go into formative exercise 2.1 okay so the first question they gave you a diagram okay this diagram is a graph of x square minus 4x plus 3 okay from the graph they ask you to find okay now let's look at your graph okay teacher's graph actually that rubber jadi okay it didn't really form well i i kind of like okay my curve didn't form well it's okay but i think you guys can get the picture okay now let's look at from the graph find the fx okay we have to find the fx when x is approaching negative one okay when negative one what is the fx here fx is it okay straight away we get the answer huh? fx is it okay how about when it's approaching zero okay when zero it's fx is 3 okay so we write 3 how about when x is approaching 1 1 we get the fx is 0 okay just from your graph huh? you're just doing from the graph don't have to substitute in okay don't have to substitute in when x is approaching 2 we get fx is negative 1 okay 2 is negative 1 uh, when x approaching 3 we get 0 Okay, so if x approaching 4, since here no more 4, what do you think the answer will be? Hmm, you want to guess, you can guess, but uh, usually once you like have done many practices, you can definitely guess. But if let's say now you, you're still learning, you don't really sure, what you do is you just substitute uh, 4 inside the, okay, function. So it's going to be limit of x approaching 4. For x square minus 4x plus 3. So 4 square minus 4 plus 3. So here 16 minus 16 plus 3 we get 3. So that means the answer is 3. Okay here. So this is the fx. Okay. Now find the possible values of a if limit of x approaching a is 8. Approaching A is 8. That means the fx is 8. Huh? The fx is 8. So let's check at 8. 8, we have negative 1. But what is the other answer? Hmm. How do we get the other answer? What do you think um, is suitable for us to use? If you can write down in the comment section. Okay. Okay, so find the possible values so that means the limit of x approaching a for the function the function is x square minus 4x plus 3 equals to 8 right okay so now we solve this function okay because we want to find what are the x values when we substitute in we get equals to 8 okay so we do our quadratic square minus 4x plus 3 Okay, minus 8 equals to 0. So we get x square minus 4x plus, uh, sorry, minus 5. Okay, let's substitute this inside our calculator. So 1, negative 4, negative 5 and we get 5, sorry, 5 and negative 1. So x we get 5 and x we get negative 1. So they say, okay, if you can see here, negative 1 is correct already, yeah? The other value is 5. So we can write this as our possible values of A. Okay, 5 and negative 1. Okay, then next one, C. Determine the gradient of the tangent dy dx on the graph by using first principle. So remember, let's refer back to first principle. Okay, first step. Okay, this is function fx ready so i don't have to let okay y equals to anything straight away let's write the uh the formula d delta y equals to f x plus delta x minus fx okay now let's uh okay let's 
uh, solve this. Alright, so this is the function that we are going to use. Okay, delta y equals to, okay, the first one, x plus delta x square minus 4x plus delta x. Okay, and uh, this one plus 3. Wait, uh, we, I, we don't have to write down because this one is only for the one with the x. Okay, so you can do what? Plus 3, then minus x square minus 4x plus 3. Okay. Okay, now we do what? We solve by expanding. Okay, so this is going to take some space. Let me see if I can write. Okay. So, delta y is going to be, I'm going to expand. Huh? x square plus 2x delta x plus delta x square okay whenever this delta x i'm writing in bracket okay then minus 4x minus 4 delta x plus 3 minus okay um let me just open up the bracket no need bracket already minus x square plus 4x minus 3 okay so which one we can solve we try to solve okay x square and x square Okay, done. Mm, negative 4x and 4x, done. Positive 3, done. So, here got, okay, 2x minus 4. They both have the delta x. So, what we do, we factorize them together. So, delta y equals to 2x minus 4. Okay, delta x. Okay, write them, uh, fa factorize them together. Then, plus delta x square okay you don't have to write delta square x square huh? you can just put the bracket then write square like that okay so until here the first step is done now we're doing the second step which is obtain the ratio so to obtain the ratio we divide left side and right side by delta x so we divide by delta x divide by delta x divide by delta x so when you divide here cut here left power one okay so now final answer for the ratio of delta y delta x is 2x minus 4 plus delta x okay so this is the ratio now we can find the uh, limit okay let me should i do it here i think there's space here okay uh no I mean, i'll just use another space here okay so the limit of delta x approaching 0 for the ratio is, okay, limit of delta x. So we write down this now, 2x minus 4 plus delta x, okay. So here got delta x, right? So what we do, substitute the 0 inside here. Okay, so oops, no need to write limit ready. So just substitute 2x minus 4 plus 0 so 2x minus 4 plus 0 we get 2x minus 4 so this is our dy dx okay done okay so this one is for question 1 now I'm going to help guide you on question 2 okay so let me just write down the question oops I forgot about <laughs> Part 2, okay, part 2, there's part 2. Determine the gradient of the tangent at point 4, uh, 3. Okay, what do they mean by 4, 3? That means you want to find the value. What's the value of this tangent? Okay, 4, 3 means, so let's substitute. Uh, this one is the, y, uh, sorry, this one is the x value. This one is the y value. So substitute, okay, this one is for the second one. Huh? Substitute. Okay, the point 4, 3 into dy dx. What's the gradient? Okay, so that means this is going to be 2x minus 4, right? Okay, 2x minus 4. So I just substitute 2x is 4 minus 4. So 8 minus 4 is 4. So that means dy dx, the gradient is at 4. Okay, so that's all. Huh? We just substitute the point. Okay, now I will go to question 2. 
Okay, now teacher is ready with the questions. Find the value of the following limits. Okay, this one we can straight away substitute the value of 0 inside the function. So, 0 square minus 6, 0 plus 9. So, here we will get equals to 9. Okay, this easy one. This one also can substitute. Okay, so cube root of 2 to the power of 4 minus 2 square. Okay, here we get um, 2 to the power of 4 minus 2 times 4. Okay, let me 2 to the power of 4 minus 2 2 square. So, we get cube root of 8 which is equals to 2. Okay, so for B is so all done. Okay, for C, what did you guys do? Because you have fraction and if you realize there's power of 2 quadratic, if you substitute the 9 in, you will definitely get 0 over 0. So cannot, you have to uh, factorize. Okay, so let's factorize. Um, so we have to factorize the down one. Huh? So 9 minus x over x minus 9, x plus 9. Okay, it's going to be like this, huh? Because whenever you have like this, a square minus b square, okay, it will be a minus b, a plus b. Okay, so in this case, this is x square minus 9 square. Okay, so that's why I get x minus 9, x plus 9. Okay, now, uh, can I cut with the up one? Cannot, right? Because the position is not same. This one is 9 minus x. This one is x minus 9. So, what we do, we change the position for the up one. So, it becomes, uh, I want to make it, I want to make the x positive, right? So, negative x minus 9. Take out the negative. Okay? Take out the negative. Uh, now, you get, you see? Okay. So, now, which one can we uh, eliminate? This one. So, limit of x approaching 9 for negative 1 over x plus 9. Now, you substitute the value of 9 inside. So, 9 plus 9 is, you will get negative 1 over 18. So, this is our fx value. Okay, now let's look at d. Okay, so far, if you guys have any question, you can write down in the comment section now. Huh? Here also got quadratic, so let's uh, make the quadratic factorize it. So this one you can use calculator. One, two, so one, negative one, negative two, two and negative one. Huh? Okay, so two and negative one, so it will be plus one over x minus two. So anything you can cut, yes, this one. So we are left with limit of x. Okay, x plus 1. So, substitute the value. So, you will get 2 plus 1 which is 3. Okay. Then, let's move on to E. Okay. So, if you realize teacher is writing down the limits. Huh? Okay. Please don't skip this. Okay. Please don't skip this. Okay. E. Uh, this one is power of 3. Okay. So, what we do? First, we actually take out the x first okay so you are left with x square minus one okay now can you see this pattern same as this so this one is actually like this x square minus one square because one square is one right so we will get x minus one and x plus one when you factorize okay now you then put it back so limit of x okay approaching one is x x minus one x plus 1 over x minus 1 so the x minus 1 can cut off so the last part for the function limit is x x plus 1 okay now you substitute the values so 1 1 plus 1 that means we will get 2 okay let me check e is 2 yes okay then for the last one f okay if you have tried for f you can write down the answer in the comment Okay, what do we need to do here? Also factorize, right? Okay, let's factorize. So, 1, negative 7, 10. So, 5 and 2. So, I'm getting 5 and 2. 5 and 2. Okay, for the down one, this one is x square minus 5 square. Okay, 
So this will be x minus 5, x plus 5. So x minus 5, x plus 5. So x minus 5 cut off. We are left with limit of x approaching 5 x minus 2 over x plus 5 so we will get this one will be 5 minus 2 over 5 plus 5 so we will get 3 over 10 okay so this is our final answer okay so let's move to question 3 now we continue with question 3 okay from your formative exercise 2.1 so determine the follow the limit value for each of the following function. So the limit value would be okay if you realize here this is cert one plus two x minus cert one uh, minus two x over x. Okay, what you need to do actually when you get this kind of question, you need to multiply with the conjugate. So which one will be the conjugate? If you realize here this is one plus two x. This is minus, right? So we have to times with the plus. Okay, this thing will change to plus. So the conjugate is 1 plus 2x plus cert 1 minus 2x. So we need to multiply with this. Okay, so now let's do the multiplication. Okay, so when you do the multiplication, make sure you don't forget to write the limit again. Okay, so 1 plus 2x minus cert 1 minus 2x. Uh, okay, this one put like this in bracket and then we times with this. Huh? So, cert 1 plus 2x plus 1 plus 2x plus, huh? eh, sorry, here is minus, minus, minus 1 plus, over x. Okay, so now we can, so remember this now teacher say you can do one by one but when you multiply the conjugate, you just take the first one times with the first one, okay. So, we take the first times with the first one. So, cert and cert times will cancel off. So, we will get 1 plus 2x. Okay. And then, just take the second one, multiply the second one. So, here, cert, cert will cancel off. Okay. And then, here, right, uh, this one, minus and plus will become minus. So, if let's say, okay, here, this is 1, mm, Okay, so here we will get 1 minus 2x. Okay, so done divided by x. So 1 plus 2x minus 1 minus 2x. So this one, remember uh, when conjugate cert and cert will cancel off. Okay, so now we solve the numerator first. So I open up the bracket, we get minus. So 2x minus minus 2x. So we get 4x over x oh okay for oops 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 hold on hold on teacher wrongly wrote here okay this one you should not uh, times like this down also we need to times with 1 plus 2x plus 1 minus 2x okay we need to up and down okay okay sorry 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 I made a mistake here okay so you have to times up and down wait let me liquid this so, I was wondering because we don't get 4 the answer. It was weird the answer. Okay. Um, so, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to write x and then I'm going to write this whole thing. 1 plus 2x minus, okay, sorry, I was liquid ready. So, I don't think so can can see this part. 1 minus 2x. Okay. So, x square root of 1 plus 2x minus 1 minus 2x okay like this huh? so up is 4x down is this okay now we have x and x to cut okay x and x can cut so we are left with limit of x approaching 0 up is 4 down is 1 plus 2x plus this is plus right sorry this is plus this is plus okay plus huh? okay square root of 1 minus 2x so if you're following following this during the premiere time, if you see the mistakes, you can write down in the chat session, okay? So, okay. So until here, okay, so far, okay, correct, ready, huh? Because conjugate plus, plus, yeah, plus, okay, correct, plus, okay. So now we substitute the zero, 
okay we substitute so when you substitute when you're doing the substitution time only you don't have to write the limit already so here you will get 0 1 minus 0 so 4 over uh, this one will be 1 plus 1 which is 4 over 2 so equals to 2 okay done a now let's look at b okay uh, what do you think the conjugate is going to be you want to write down you can write down the chat what the conjugate is going to be so here is 3 here is minus here is cert x plus 5 so the conjugate will change the the sign will change for this middle one so it's going to be 3 plus cert x plus 5 okay so this is going to be the conjugate mm, let me choose another color Oh, orange you can see okay so now let's times the conjugate huh? okay we start with limit x approaching 4 okay orange can huh? okay uh, 3 minus cert x plus 5 over x minus 4 times the conjugate is going to be 3 plus cert x plus 5 over down also 3 plus cert x plus 5 up and down huh? times okay so when we times conjugate what is the rule take the first and times with the first number so 3 times 3 is 9 take the second and times with the second one so minus x plus 5 okay the third will hilang gone because third times third gone okay the down one we just attach them together okay it's totally up to you can um uh, you can you want to multiply in one by one can but it's going to be tedious so you can just leave it like that okay just combine them because when you times you combine together okay so the up one you open the bracket so open bracket becomes 9 minus x minus 5 so 9 minus 5 is 4 4 minus x over x minus 4 uh, 3 plus set x plus 5 okay now, you can see similarities here, 4 minus x and x minus 4. It's just that uh, we always follow the down one because huh? we want to cut the down one. So, what you do for the up one, the numerator, you create a negative and then it becomes like that, x minus 4. Okay, put a negative outside. Because when you times in back, you will get 4 minus x. Okay, then uh, write down everything, x minus 4. 3 plus okay don't be lazy to not write okay always now is the time for you to practice writing okay because we don't want to lose marks uh, but this part you see here like 9 minus this part yes you can straight away write the answer so you don't have to like open up first and then you know write the steps okay so you must master which one you should you know write which step you should not write okay so negative 1 over 3 plus Cert x plus 5 okay once this is done now we substitute the value of 0 in so negative 1 over is not 0 I, a lot of careless mistake today everything is 4 okay 4 4 4 4 4 4 4 hmm. a lot of careless mistake today because Okay, because teacher has been continuously recording, okay, but that's not an excuse. So, thank God I realized this. Okay, so negative 1, 3 plus 4 plus 5. So, negative 1 over 3 plus cert 9 will be 3. So, the answer is negative 1 over 6. Let me check. Yes, negative 1 over 6. Okay, now let's do C. Okay, so while I write down for the question C, I hope you start trying. Okay, start trying using the same uh, way that I've been guiding you. Just make sure this one, you know what is the conjugate. And then you also need to factorize. Okay, but let's times with the conjugate first. Okay, so what will be the conjugate for this? Okay, let me write the conjugate. So this time the conjugate is going to be 2 plus set x plus 1. Huh? So this is what we are going to times with. Okay, so always make sure you know exactly the conjugate before you 
times so now let's times 2 minus cert x plus 1 okay 2 plus cert x plus 1 2 plus cert x plus 1 okay times okay now let's times okay what we can do is the up one uh, we just combine it okay not necessary you need to expand one by one so we just write like this x square minus 5x plus 6 2 plus cert x plus 1 just the down one only we uh, times one by one okay but in this case as i told you just take the first number times with the first number so we get 4 take the second one times with this so we get minus uh, x plus 1 okay did i write this correct okay this is 3 3 3 okay correct Okay, now we solve ah, this part. Do you see this as a quadratic? How can I factorize? I want we need to factorize the quadratic because we if possible we always need to simplify our um, our fraction. Okay, we try to simplify as much as possible. So here 4 minus x minus 1. So that means this is going to be 3 minus x. Okay, down is 3 minus x. Huh? Okay, so now let's simplify this. This will be 1. Let's find the what are the values of x. 6. So 3 and 2. x minus 3. x minus 2. Okay, these two got similarities. Okay, x minus 3 and x minus 2. So if I'm going to cut down, I want to cut the down y. Okay, so what we do, um, we change... Okay, we change the down one. Oh, you can change the up one also can. So, here becomes negative 3 minus x. Like that, huh? x minus 2. 2 plus square root of x plus 1 over 3 minus x. Okay, so let's cut this and this. So, we are left with... Okay, don't worry. It's just the last time we are writing this. Minus 2. 2 plus third x plus 1 okay done now you can substitute the value of 3 inside so it becomes 3 minus 2 2 plus this one 3 plus 1 is 4 so set 4 is 2 so negative 1 times 4 okay negative 1 times 4 so we get negative 4 so the value is negative 4 okay so now let's move on to question 4 Okay, question 4. Okay, moving on to question 4. Okay, given that the limit of x approaching to 2 for this function is 4 over 3, find the value of k. So, what we do? We apply, okay. So, the limit of x approaching to for this is 4 over 3. Okay, that means apply the 2, okay, substitute the 2 inside, okay, or uh, because since we don't know the value of k here, right, okay, so that means it's going to be uh, 2 square minus k over 3 times 2 minus 6 equals to 4 over 3. So, 4 minus k, oh, ah, this one 0, right, so since the denominator is 0 here, so the 0 you times with the opposite side. So, it's going to be 0. Okay. So, 4 minus k. So, means k is going to be 4. So, in this case, the limit exists. And the denominator is 0 when your x is equals to 2. So, you just have to be careful. Uh, don't panic or what. Just the 0 uh, times with the opposite side. Okay. And then for b. If the limit uh, x approaches negative 1. Uh, for this equation is negative 2 find the value of h and k okay so we also can substitute in okay try to substitute in you will get the value of h and k okay so h is here k is here so you just need to be careful okay because usually for the below the denominator it will equal to 0 so it's going to be Limit of x approaching negative 1. Okay, we do the up one first. x square minus 2x minus h equals to 0. Okay, so it we, we know that it's going to be indeterminate form. Okay, the indeterminate form 
meaning that it's going to be number over zero. If you look back, teacher got teach in the beginning part for differentiation, this one, okay? A over zero, that means there's a number up and then it's going to be zero down, okay? So what we do now, we substitute negative one square minus two negative one minus h equals to zero. So here is one plus two, 3 minus h equals to 0. So, h is 3. Okay, h is 3. Now, we do for the uh, below. Okay, we do for the down uh, fraction. So, limit of... So, we treat it separately. Okay, solve it separately. x to the power of negative 1. Okay, kx plus 2 equals to 0 also. So, the limit of this is also 0. Okay, so that means this is going to be... Um, k negative 1 plus 2 0 negative k equals to negative 2 k is 2 ok done so h and k done oh we have to find h plus k ok so h plus k is 3 plus 2 which is 5 ok now moving on to question 5 second last question Okay, for question 5, okay, now we're going to use the first principle that we learned. If you guys uh, feel that you are only watching this, you haven't watched my explanation before this, go to the link up here. Or, okay, because teacher got teach step by step how we find uh, the function first derivative using first principle. Okay, because if you follow the step, it's very easy. Okay, you don't have to worry about like okay how exactly is going because everything in admats is you understand the concept then you apply okay now let me do the first one up huh? okay first okay since this one is y so first step is we let y equals to fx okay we let y equals to fx first okay then now from here hold on let me just bring it this way so easy for me to write okay so now from here we write fx equals to 5x minus 8 okay so now let's apply the delta y write down the formula i keep repeating this write down the formula it will really help you guys during your first exam okay because this question definitely comes out in first exam okay now fx is 5x minus 8 fx plus delta x so you substitute this inside the x so 5 x plus delta x minus 8 okay then we minus the fx 5x minus 8 okay now you can expand okay so we will get 5x plus 5 delta x teacher likes to write in bracket up huh? so that it's like easy for you also to see minus 8 minus 5x plus 8 so 5x and 5x cancel off Negative 8 and positive 8 cancel off. So, delta y equals to 5 delta x. Okay. So, we are left with this. First step is done. Huh? Okay. The first step is done. Now, the second step is we need to obtain the ratio. How to obtain the ratio? You divide. Okay. Divide the both sides. Divide both sides by delta x. So, divide delta x. Divide delta x. Here, cut. Okay. Once cut. So now our delta y is delta y over delta x is equals to 5. Step 2 done. Let's move to step 3. Find the limit. Limit of delta x approaching 0. Okay, let's find the limit. So it's going to be limit uh, delta x approaching 0 for 5. 5 got any delta x? No, don't have. So we just write the final answer is 5. That's all. Okay. So, I hope you guys can follow. Okay. Now, let's do B. Okay. B, the question is Y equals to X square minus X. Okay. So, I hope you guys are trying out already. Okay. So, you guys are trying out. So, if you already got the answer, you can write down the answer straight away in the comment. Um, B, first step. Okay. Let Y equals to FX. Okay, I'm going to let my y equals to fx first. So, my fx is now x square minus x. 
So let me find delta y. Write down the formula fx plus delta x minus fx. So delta y is x plus delta x square minus x plus delta x. Okay, whatever that has x, you have to substitute this. Okay? And then minus the fx. fx is x square minus x. So delta y will be x square plus 2x delta x plus delta x square. Okay, teacher already expand in shortcut form. You want to do, you want to do this, it's going to take time. Okay, so make sure you learn the shortcut form. Okay, the shortcut form. Um, it's very easy. It's very, very easy. Okay. If you want teacher to show you the shortcut form, you can comment that and next time teacher will definitely include that. Okay. Okay. Then minus x minus delta x minus x square plus x. Okay. Just open up the bracket. Okay. So x square minus x square done. Negative x done. Okay. Here got delta x. Here got delta x. So we factorize and bring them uh, closer okay uh, write them closer let me bring my video so closer okay so here it's going to be 2x this one is minus 1 delta x plus delta x square so first step done now I'm going to divide both sides by delta x okay to obtain the ratio so divide by delta x, divide by delta x, divide by delta x. So here cut, here also cut, left with power 1. So delta y delta x equals to 2x minus 1 plus delta x. Okay, so now we find the limit. The limit of delta x approaching 0 for the ratio of this. Okay, so limit of delta x approaching 0 for 2x minus 1 plus delta x. This is 0, right? Did I copy? Ah, yeah. Okay, approaching for 0. Always for 0, huh? this one, based on the formula. Okay, then we apply. So 2x minus 1 plus 0. So we get 2x minus 1. So this is our first derivative. Okay, done. Okay, let's move to C and D. Okay, let me make it smaller. Okay. Okay, I'm going on to C. Okay, I zoomed too much. Okay, I hope you guys also done for C. Let me write here. Y equals to X plus 1 square. Okay, so first step, let Y equals to FX. So that means now our fx is going to be x plus 1 square. Okay. So uh, now let's do the, we use another color. How about brown? Okay. So we start with writing the formula. Delta y is fx plus delta x minus fx. Okay. So delta y equals to... Okay, where is the x? x is here. Okay, so how are we sub supposed to substitute? So it's going to be x plus delta x plus 1 square. Okay, minus x plus 1 square. Okay, now expand this. Okay, this is going to be uh, tedious. So you have to expand everything one by one. Mm, what you can do is okay uh, okay we have to expand this x square plus x dx plus okay so let me do it at the side here for you okay so I'm going to do it at the side here so this times this x square plus x delta x plus x okay then uh, we do for the second one okay this one will be okay this one is going to be x wait uh, uh x x square x delta x plus x okay then plus x 
delta x okay it's actually very tiring to mention the x and delta x x and delta x okay then uh, this one plus delta x square okay then the last one plus delta x and then plus x plus delta x plus 1 okay it's quite long okay now this is the one you're supposed to write here okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to straight away simplify so anything that I can simplify here will be okay, delta y x square okay x delta x plus x delta x 2x okay here is 2x and then here delta x and delta x so 2x plus 2x plus 2 delta x okay uh, make sure the one with the same term you bring it together okay then x plus x is 2x okay x plus x is 2x and then we have plus delta x square plus delta x square this one done then plus 1 so 1 is the final number okay I think correct okay done okay then this one we expand so minus x square plus 2x plus 1 okay delta y so now I'm going to expand everything up huh? x square plus 2x plus 2 mm, plus 2x plus delta x minus x square minus 2x minus 1 okay x square cut with x square 2x cut with 2x 1 cut with 1 so delta y is 2x plus 2 delta x plus delta x square okay slightly long but it's worth it once we find the answer so now we divide for the ratio pada so divide delta x divide delta x divide delta x cut 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 power 1 delta y delta x is 2x plus 2 plus delta x so let's find the limit okay uh, so I'm going to apply the limit limit of delta x approaching 0 for 2x plus 2 plus delta x so it's 2x plus 2 plus 0 so it's 2x plus 2 so this is our dy dx okay done Okay, moving on to the last part for chapter 5. Uh, question 5. Okay, now for part D. So, y equals to, so first step, let y equals to fx. So, fx is the one equals to 1 over 4x. Okay, then uh, let's do the delta y. Write down the formula, x plus delta x. Okay, after writing the formula, now, okay, wait now, hold on, let me zoom. Okay, after writing now the formula, we are going to now substitute. Okay, so delta y equals to 1 over 4, this is the x, the x is down here, so x plus delta x minus uh, 1 over 4x. Okay. So in this case, as you can see, we have uh, denominators. So we need to make the denominator the same. So if you want to make denominator the same, you just multiply. Okay, so this one times with 4x, times with 4x. This one times with 4x plus delta x. Okay, times with 4x plus delta x. Okay. So once you times, because we want to make the denominator the same. So here is going to be 4x um, minus 4x plus delta x. Okay. Divided by, so the down one I'm just going to combine. Uh, I'm just going to combine. So it's going to be 16x. Uh, 16 yeah, 16x. 16x. X plus delta x. Okay. So now let's look okay so what can we do here now 
here we have 4x minus 4 um, okay here got x plus delta x got x plus delta x but is there anything that we can do to what we can do is we can open up this okay we can expand this so delta y equals to 4x minus 4x plus delta x so for the up one uh, hold on this one is not just delta x this one will be plus 4x minus 4x minus not plus huh? minus let me write down nicely okay this is minus minus 4 delta x okay because times in times in huh? okay then for the below it's going to be 16 uh, okay I'm just going to write 16x x plus delta x first okay so here two these two cut off so delta y is negative 4 delta x over 16x x plus delta x okay is there anything that we can cut here yes the 4 and 16 so you'll get delta y is negative uh, up is left with 1 over x so you can write negative delta x also okay and here we got x x plus delta x okay if you want to times in also can this is 4 huh? okay you want to times the x in also can so let's just times the x in or you want to leave this in this format also can so the the delta x remains up so it's going to be negative delta x over 4x x plus delta x okay now we have to divide both sides with delta x right okay if you divide both sides with delta x okay we just need to be careful for this part so here is going to be divide here, I'm not going to put divide like that. I'm going to put this way, divide. Okay, because when you put like this, then you can write like this. Times, you can change it to times. See, it's much easier, right? So here can cut. Hmm. So you already got some right here, delta y over delta x equals to negative okay, 1 over 4x x plus delta x <coughs> okay so we already got until our ratio now let's find our limit okay the limit is going to be negative 1 or x x plus delta x okay so uh, plug in the zero for the delta x uh. so it's going to be negative 1 4 x x plus 0 so we get negative 1 over 4 x square so this will be our final answer so dy dx is negative 1 over 4 x square okay so question 5 done Let's do the last one, question 6. Okay, the last question, question 6. The displacement of a squirrel, okay, running on a straight line cable, on a straight cable for t seconds is given by, so the displacement is s uh, equals to uh, t squared minus 3t. Okay, so the time is greater than 0. By using first principle, find the velocity so if you all learn velocity okay v equals to ds dt okay why ds dt because velocity is your differentiate okay displacement over time okay so now let's use the first principle so now i'm going to let um, s equals to st yeah huh? okay this one huh? so that means t square minus 3t okay so this one st okay is equals to t square minus 3t 
Okay, so let's use the formula. Okay, usually the formula will be delta y equals to f x plus delta x minus f x. Okay, in this case, you cannot see any y and x. So use the s and t. Okay, so delta s equals to s t plus delta t minus, okay, s t. So we use this, huh? we follow this. Okay, now we substitute. So t plus delta t square. Okay, minus 3t plus delta t. Okay, because this is by question, so you kind of have to think how to actually uh, use this. Because this is the original that we learned, but now you have to apply, okay. Minus, okay, so st is t square minus 3t. Okay, so now expand. So delta s is t square plus 2t delta t plus delta t square minus 3t minus 3dt minus t square plus 3t okay so already expanded okay t square t square cancel off negative 3t cancel off okay so we are left with um, this one so it's going to be 2t minus 3 dt okay because these two are same terms plus delta t square okay now what is the second step so the first step we already found our delta s now we divide by both sides divide by delta t divide by delta t divide by delta t here cut here left power one so the ratio obtaining Okay, obtaining, 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 all right, obtained. Ratio obtained, now use the limit, okay, find the, using the limit, because we want to find dy dx, right? Okay, so use the limit dx approaching 0 for the ratio that we just found, okay, approaching 0, 2t minus 3 plus dt, substitute the 0, oh, this is dt, huh? dt, 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 ds, dt, <laughs> okay, ds, dt, this is ds, dt, okay, because we are following this, okay, ds, dt, so no x or y, so this is t, okay, so 2t minus 3 plus 0, so the final answer is 2t minus 3, so this is our ds, dt found okay this is our velocity found okay but there's also another part find the velocity when the time is 5 seconds so when the time is 5 seconds substitute into the ds dt so ds dt will be 2 times 5 minus 3 so that means we will get 7 so time is in this case, our velocity will be 7 meter per second. Okay, because velocity is uh, displacement over time. Okay, so teacher hope that you learned well. And if you have any question, you can write down in the comment section. I hope you guys understand. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, uh, stay tuned in teachers' Facebook group, support group. You guys are doing amazing by helping each other in the Telegram group. And also, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Okay, I'll try to help as much as I can. Until I see you in my next video. Bye.